Hi, this, this is your math teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to do a considerably more involved problem this time. You see, I have my calculator ready. Okay, we're going to find the equation of a line through two points, and the two points are negative 2, negative 1, and 4, negative 6. And how we're going to do this, we're going to find the slope first. m equals y2 minus y1 equals over x2 minus x1. Then we're going to find the equation of the line y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to have m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Be sure to keep your negative signs or you'll get the answer all wrong. This is going to equal negative 6 plus 1 over 4 plus 2, which will be negative 5 over positive 6. So the slope is negative 5 sixths. However, you're going to see that I write the slope this way just because it can be easier. OK, now I'm going to find the equation of the line with the point slope formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And I might as well use point 1, eh? Uh, x1, y1. So I'll say y minus negative 1 equals negative 5 sixths. Notice I'm writing the negative up by the 5. You'll see why in a minute negative 5, 6 times x minus negative 2. That will give me y plus 1 equals negative 5 over 6 times x plus 2. Okay, now I'm going to get rid of my fractions. I'm going to do this by multiplying both sides by the denominator 6. You'll see what happens. It's really neat. 6 times y plus 1, notice I use parentheses, equals 6 times negative 5 sixths times x plus 2. Now the whole reason I did that is that this 6 can also be written as 6 over 1 and 6 over 1 times negative 5 over 6 can cause or and does cause the 6's to cancel each other out. Before we ever get to the x plus 2 this guy has gotten rid of that guy. All right, now here's what we have. We have 6 times y plus 1 equals negative 5 times x plus 2. I'm going to distribute 6y plus 6 equals negative 5x plus negative 10. I'm going to add 6 to both sides, plus 6, plus 6. I'm going to add the negative 10 and the 6. Oops, that was plus negative 6. I'm adding negative 6 to both sides of the equation. Why? Because 6 plus negative 6 is 0, so the, the 6 will 0 out over here. So I'll be left with 6y equals negative 5x minus 16. 
Now I'm going to divide both sides by 6 to get y by itself. Divide by 6, divide by 6, divide by 6. Notice I, I multiplied each term separately that by 1 6. I multiplied by 1 6, which is the same thing as dividing by 6. Now over here the 6 is canceled because 6 over 6 is 1. So I'll have 1y or just y equals negative 5, 6, x minus, now 2 will go into 16 and 2 will go into 6. So if I divide both the 16 and the 6 by 2, I'll get 8 over 3. But I want to show you something neat right now. Um, we're going to use a wonderful little utility on the graphing calculator, here I am, called MathFrac. All right. Now, notice we started out with, right here, back here, we had minus 16 over 6, which is the same thing as negative 16 divided by 6. So I'm going to say negative with the negative button, 16 divided by 6. I'm not going to say equals. Instead, I'm going to push the math button. And right there at the top is frac. So I'm going to hit Enter. And it's saying, do you want to, to fractionalize this? And I'm saying yes. There we have negative 8 thirds, which is exactly the same thing as, neg as minus 8 thirds. So you can do this reducing with your calculator if you don't feel comfortable doing it by hand. Okay, this was your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and I'll talk to you later.